Assalamualaikum sir. गुड मॉर्निंग my dear students i will come to my tourist class my tourist class is for the student of class 9 and 10 so dear students try to stay connected sir ami to class 8 e but i was asked to get prepared for the student of class 9 and that was the message uh saved in my mobile Uh, i was asked to get prepared on the topic schedule for class 9 student so uh, this is the topic basically designed for the student of class 9 so uh, date ओके डिस्टेंस उत्सव उत्सव स्टिल कनेक्टेड आर यू स्टिल कनेक्टेड यस सर सो व्हाट आर द टॉपिक यू हैव प्रॉब्लम्स व्हाट आर द टॉपिक यू हैव प्रॉब्लम्स वॉइस वॉइस सो वॉइस सेंस so what type of problem you face ekhane nite hobe eight you could direct kore do so what type of problem do you feel difficult what are the rules which seem difficult to you utshab active to passive active to of course passive my question is uh if you don't understand any rule regarding active to passive voice if you can't understand any rule yes sir so do you want me to discuss some difficult rules the common ones are uh, very much known to you i think the rules which are very much common and uh while well practiced a lot of times by you maybe seem to you as for example i rice rice is eaten by me this type of common rule is uh, perhaps easier to you but the rules okay so boys i am going to discuss today the rules on voice sense but i would i would try to discuss the uh, difficult ones in which you may have problems i think so try to stay connected and stay Attentive. 
I'm going to discuss Ulta Ulta the Kazat chair. Again at the Shoda the Gazay. Eh? Naki. That's a sad. Eh? So a bit though. Voices take us to. Eh? Watch. So Dear parents, first rule that I'm going to discuss is the rule regarding regarding model auxiliaries. There are some model auxiliaries uh, in some cases which may seem difficult to you. As for example, uh, you know the model auxiliaries are can, could, may, might, must, need. Dare, in the fifth September, English second paper. Okay, dear friends. So then be going to be going to. So if you generally know that if you find any sentence with uh, model auxiliaries in active voice, as for example, as for example, he could do the work to do the The pace would Sir, be. Boy, the pace would be. But the. Yes. 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 Please repeat again. Uh, boys from the board. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, I'm I'm trying to discuss uh, rules of uh, rules of voice change from active into passive with model auxiliaries. Do you know what are the model auxiliaries? What type of auxiliaries are uh, generally known as model auxiliaries? The auxiliaries after which base form of verb is used are generally known as model auxiliaries. Is the point clear to you? The auxiliaries after which base form of verbs is used is called model auxiliaries. So these are the common example of model auxiliaries. Uh, voice change with model auxiliaries is easier to you. Rules of voice change with model auxiliaries is easier to because you will have to just use B after those model auxiliaries in passive voice. The work could be done by him. But the problem sometimes arises regarding the rules with be going to. Some of the students may not understand uh, 
the rules regarding be going to. I'm going to write down some sentences. He is going to open a shop. So the passive would be, can you tell me the passive form of the sentence? He is going to open a shop. Can you a tell shop. me? A shop. A, a shop, shop is shop. going. A shop is going to be opened by him. Yes, a shop is going to be opened by him. Him. Thank you. But if it is an integrative sentence, as for example, who who was going to help them who was going to help them so please try to tell me the passive form of the sentence who was going to help them please try to answer who was going to help them can you understand my questions boys Is the questions difficult to you or why lies the problem? If you have any problem in understanding the sentence or why lies your problem, boy, please try to answer. What will be the passive form of the sentence? Who was going to help them? Please try to respond. Otherwise, I will not feel encouraged to go on. By whom were? Yes, by whom? By whom? Where? Where? They. Where they? Uh, uh, going to be helped. Yes, by whom were they going? To be helped. To be helped. By not no more by by oh, has already been nice. used by has already been used at the very outset very beginning of the sentence by whom were they going to be helped Help. okay okay so i think the rule is clarified to you but i uh, observed many students uh, many students try to uh, many students uh, feel feels problem regarding uh, this type of sentence, especially if the sentence starts with WS word and if the model user is going to is used in the sentences. Okay. okay, thank you for your better understanding. Now, I'm going to engage you another type of problem. A voice sense with bare infinitive. Voice sense with Bare infinitive. Do you know what is a bare infinitive? What's a bare infinitive? Infinitive. No, bare infinitive. But perhaps you uh, know what's mean by infinitive. Perhaps you understand infinitive. Boys, infinitive is the form of verb, base form of verb, before which to is used. As for example, I want to go to school. Here, to go is the infinitive. I like to swim. Here, to swim is the infinitive. But bare infinitive is the infinitive, form of infinitive, in which infinitive is, infinitive is used without to. There are some verbs up to which bare infinitive is used. So is the point clear, clarified to you, boys? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Please tell me what is the bare infinitive? As, as for example, bare footed, that means 
food without any shoes this is called brand would be used as for example c here was make okay boys so in active voice to is not used before based on verb but in passive voice to is to be used as for example i saw him go this would be what would be the passive voice please what would be the passive form he was seen to go by me another example he made me love he made me love here yeah, love is the love is in benefit form so the passive form would be please try to respond can you see the sentence boys he i made me love sir i, I was made love by him i was made i love. was made i was made love, love by him love by to him love. i was to made love by him in active voice we don't use to before infinitive that means in active form we will have to use the benefit form but in passive form you will have to use the to yes, i was made to love by him but one point that you should keep in your memory is that let in case of let to is always omitted to is always omitted either in active voice or in passive voice so i let them i let them use my pc so please tell me the passive form of this sentence you see that i let them use after let either in active or passive form you will have to use the benefit that means in passive voice also we can't use to uh, after let so please tell me the passive form of the sentence please try to respond boys okay i'm writing down the sentence for you they are or were they are or were let use my pc by me so let use you can see use i haven't used any to either in active voice or in passive voice so i think this has been clarified to you you have been able to understand the rule very well so if you have any query regarding the rule okay dear friends
Dear friends, I'm going to discuss another uh, rule regarding uh, your difficulty. So the rule may be uh, a complex sentence. If you find any sentence comprising of more than one clauses, that means if you have find any found any sentence comprising of two or more clauses, I know that he will leave the country. So, this is the sentence comprising of more than one or two clauses. Two clauses, you can say. What type of sentence is this one, boy? Reference, can you see the sentence? Yes, sir. I know that he will leave the country. So, what type of sentence is this one? This is a complex sentence. This is a complex, complex sentence. sentence. So, do you know what is a complex sentence? A complex sentence is the sentence. Please try to be attentive. A complex sentence is the sentence in which there is a principal clause and a subordinate clause. Do you know what is the principal clause? Here, I know is the principal clause. But that he will leave the country is the subordinate clause. So if the and if the subordinate clause is a noun clause, do you know what is a noun clause? Noun clause is the clause in when you will be promoted to class nine or ten, then you will uh, be familiar with the uh, clauses. But before that, you will have to uh, try to learn shortly. Uh, I know that he will leave the country. Yeah, that will leave the country is the example of noun clause. So when you will find a clause is to be used after a transitive verb, if you find any clause to be used after finite uh, transitive verb, transitive verb, you know transitive verb, what is a transitive verb? A transitive verb is the verb which needs an object word an object is the point clear to you what is the transitive verb transitive verb is the verb we need which needs an object to complete the for completion of the meaning or to complete the meaning of the sentence as for example as for example the boy flies a kite a kite is the object word and that is the transitive verb here. But if I say parts fly, here flies the intransitive verb. So, dear students, have you understood the point? Yes, sir. Okay. So, if you find any clues to be used after transitive verb, the in that case, the clause would be a noun clause. So, or you can see a noun clause to be used at the very beginning uh, of the sentence. And in that case, the noun clause can be the subject of a verb. So, here you can see the clause has been used as the object of the transitive verb no. So, if you want to change the voice of this type of sentence, you can use the total noun clause as the subject of the passive voice. As for example, that he will, that he will leave the country that he will leave the country is known to me that will leave the country is known to me so that will leave the country 
has been used as the subject of the passive voice that he will leave the country is known to me so do you understand the rule yes sir okay so now i am going to discuss another rule the rule is subject plus like love want wish plus object 1 object 1 plus 2 plus v1 2 plus v1 plus object 2 so if i write down a sentence following this rule you will you will be able to understand it very well i want him to write a letter so i have written down the sentence following this structure so if you find any sentence if you find any sentence following this structure subject plus like or love or want or wish then first object then infinitive this is infinitive then second object so the voices following this rule will be can you can you tell me the passive form of the sentence reference try to respond please try to respond if you have any difficulty understanding any point or if you don't know the rule please try to respond and make me distinct of your situation okay i'm trying to write down the passive form of the sentence i want a letter i want a letter to be written by him so dear friends if you have been able to understand the rule no sir no sir so wherein lies the problem wherein lies the problem you will have to target the structure if you if you have any problem please try to integrate it you will have to you will have to target the structure if you find this and is following this structure subject like or love or want or wish plus first object plus infinity plus second object if you find any sentence in active form following this structure in that case you will have to follow this rule that means you will have to you will have to use the first subject or premier subject subject that means first subject first subject plus verb verb means like love want wish plus second object second object plus to be plus v3 of infinitive v3 of infinitive v3 of infinitive bar v3 of infinitive v3 of infinitive bar v3 of infinitive plus 
by plus first object first object first object so perhaps uh, now the point is clear to you yes sir clear okay so as, as for example i have written down a sentence i want a letter to be written by him i want him to write a letter i want a letter to be written by him in this sentence you can see the first subject has been used here the second and and the verb has also been used that means subject plus verb has the is the same as the given sentence then the second object has been used i want a letter a letter was the second object a letter then to be to be plus v3 of the infinitive infinitive was to write so i have written here to be written then by plus first object by him so i want a letter to be written by him yes. so the friends because of time limitation i can continue any more uh, i would try to discuss voice sense rules of voice sense if you have raised uh, the demand of discussing or very demand of uh, revising the rules of voice sense so i think uh, i must try it uh, then in my next class i would try to discuss uh, elaborate all the rules